Right, I'm here with uh, striker Mark Reid after Glossop North End's fantastic Derby Day win, 1-0 versus Hyde United. Now you can hear the Hyde fans in the background, they're really not happy about this, are they Mark, at all? Because we've got bragging rights, haven't we, already straight up. We go back to, we go to New, New and Fields, I think, between Christmas and New, New Year, on their new 4G pitch, apparently. Right. Well, like. But um, Mark Reid scored the winning goal today. Uh, how do you find the game today, Mark? Um, <clears throat> uh, not a great one to watch. Um, but it's one that we needed to perform well in. Um, for the game, the talk was all about the other day. Yeah. On Saturday, and I think there's a lot of players who did, felt they deserved to put in a performance. Yeah. Um, and a lot of players wanted to come in, and, including yourself, yeah. and show that we, it mattered to us. Yeah, that, was, that was our main job, the change into people, was show people it matters. And today it did. It wasn't a great quality performance, but we grafted. And a one nil in the dark. Was a brilliant win. Certainly, I mean, and the thing is, from a fan point of view, you know, fans travelling up an hour and a half or whatever it was to Lancaster on Saturday, it's a long way to go to watch your team. It's also a long way to go to get beaten as a side, isn't yeah. it? And the question I was just talking to you about before is how it differs to start a game and give it well, you give it 90 minutes today, yeah. than come on and try and rescue a game at the end. It must be a different sort of mindset for yourself. Yeah, it's difficult as a striker because when you come on to a game, it can be. Be four 0 up, be three 0 down, as it, as it was the other day. Yeah. And you've just got to, from my point of view, I've come up trying to influence things. And yes. whether that's from putting myself about a bit or just trying to g people up a bit, I'm trying to show a bit of experience and get people going. We've got a young team here, and a lot of the lads need a bit of encouragement because they're saying you can hide away. And you've got the experience, haven't you? Because as we all keep quoting, you are the leading goal scorer for the. Everstead League and for Buxton. Don't know about the Everstead one, but think, Buxton. Yeah, yeah definitely. The, uh, the highlighted the 26 0 radio, they were talking about Laurie. Oh, well, Mark Reed, this Mark. When they saw your name on the starting line, oh, God, Mark uh, Reed, he's, Reed he's starting, isn't he? But um, just think, what, what's your hopes for the season? Well, I know it's a very, very early stage, but where, how, where do you think we can get this season? Um, I think what we've put together is a really good squad. People were surprised by the amount of changes that happened in the summer, yeah. including yeah. myself. Yeah. We're very surprised coming to, to virtually a new dressing room. But yeah. if we can. The Evo Stick League that I've played in for 15 years is all about desire and organisation and teamwork. Yeah. If we can show what we did today, then, then there's no, no problems with that. We've got enough good quality players. Yeah. And there's players, great players, injured there. players to come back, like Sam Barnes. I mean, he captained the side for the first few games, but he's still injured, isn't he, Sam? He's desperate to get, I know you talked to Sam just now, he's desperate to get on the pitch, isn't he? And I suppose there's that little bit of movement within the, the structure of the team when the people come in and out. So if we can get a settled team, yeah. it's good. And one last question for you, Mark. How on earth do you manage to hang so high in the air? <laughs> I don't have always honest. done that yeah. throughout your career. Yeah, it's always been a part of my career. <laughs> so they used to be able to chase after it when they were after it. <laughs> oh, Mark, thank you so much. Great to have you back at Thank you. Thank you.